Here's how to do a partial derivative on Mathematica. So first, let's do this by hand first. I have z equals x times sine xy. So the partial derivative with respect to x, and I'll, I'll just do with respect to x for this one. Um, we have product rule, so the first times derivative second, so cosine xy, then chain rule, derivative of xy, uh, y is the, is the constant, so a constant times x, the derivative is the constant, so times y. Okay, plus, and then the second, sine xy, times derivative of the first. Um, let's do a quick color code here. So um, with product rule, it's kind of nice to have um, uh, the product rule. So this is f, and um, I'll do g in, in blue, so f, g. So then uh, what I just did was the first, Go back to orange here. So the first, and then the derivative of the g is this, and then this is the g, and then uh, the f prime right there. All right, uh, we can simplify this a little bit here. Let's go back to purple. So it's, um, let's move the xy up in front together. xy times cosine xy, and then one times sine xy is just sine of xy. Okay, so there, there's the, the derivative with respect to x. So now let's go to Mathematica, and let's do the same thing, and, and let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, so um, you can define the function if you'd like, or you can just um, use the d command. Let me zoom this in here. So um, so to do derivatives, it's just capital D. And so capital D, open square brackets, um, x times sine of xy. Don't forget to capitalize uh, the s on the sine. Um, and then square brackets after the sign, x times y. You need a multiplication symbol in there. Um, so, so first you do, oops, what happened here? Sine, okay, there we go, sine of x times y. All right, so, so first you type in capital D, and then your, the function that you want to do the derivative of, and then comma, and then the, the variable that you want to do the derivative, uh, in this case, x. And so then closing brackets and shift enter. Okay, same that we got by hand, xy cosine xy plus sine xy. Just, just to double check, xy cosine xy plus sine of xy. Okay, so that, that gives you some confidence that it really does work. Um, now, if you want the derivative with respect to y, then just do capital D, type it in again. So x times sine, x times y, and then comma, and then, oops, comma, and then y. And then uh, closing square brackets. So that, that gives you the, the derivative with respect to y. So x squared cosine xy. Now, there's one other command. Um, it's called grad, which actually is short for gradient. Um, if you want to get both partial derivatives at the same time, the grad command will do that. So grad x times sine x times y, comma, and then in curly brackets, your first variable and then comma, oops, how'd that happen? Um, first variable, comma, and then second variable, and then closing curly bracket, closing square bracket, and then it gives you a vector uh, where the first element of the vector is the derivative with respect to that first variable, in this case, x, xy cosine xy plus sine xy. And then the second uh, element of that vector or component of the vector is the derivative with respect to whatever that second variable was that was put in the um, in the curly brackets there. And that's how you do uh, partial derivatives with Mathematica.